It's about getting everyone you need to help you get your criminal records sealed or expunged together under one roof. This will save you plenty of time since you don't have to travel to various locations in the county trying to get your necessary paperwork completed. This will also save you money as you don't have to pay anything for the services we provide at our events and you will surely be saving on transportation costs. It is very important because it can improve your chances of landing a job, and we all know how difficult it is nowadays to find a good, steady job. It's a fact that one of the first things that these employers look at when looking to hire you is your criminal background. Truth is, many of them will no longer consider you to work for them once they see that you've been arrested in the past. This is why it's important to have your record sealed or expunged because this process will allow you to legally deny that you were ever arrested to most employers. You may qualify if you have not had a record sealed or expunged in the past. Remember, this is a one chance opportunity. Also, your criminal record cannot show that you have been found guilty of any crime in the past. It's important that you know that we at the State Attorney's Office do not make the decision as to whether you qualify or not to have your record sealed or expunged. There are laws in Florida statutes that tell you what kind of cases qualify and which don't. When a record is sealed, the public does not have access to it. It is made confidential and can only be viewed by you, your attorney, and certain law enforcement agencies and judges. On the other hand, when a record is expunged, it is required to be physically destroyed by the police agency that arrested you and the state attorney's office. Obviously, because it is destroyed, it cannot be viewed by anyone. However, any record created by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement will not be destroyed, but will be confidential as though it were sealed. The people you see in the various tables are representatives of the different agencies that need to be there in order to help you get all the information you need in order to complete the sealing and expunging application. For example, you will see assistant state attorneys who will review your record to see if you qualify, clerk of the court employees who will help you get a certified copy of your criminal record, notary publics who will help you get your documents notarized, and law enforcement officials who will help you get your fingerprinting accomplished. Once you see everyone that you need to see, you will be given a packet with various documents, including the signed application for sealing and expungement that you completed, a certified copy of your criminal record, and a completed fingerprint card. After you leave the event, before you do anything else, I suggest you make a copy of the entire packet for your records. You will then need to send the original packet of documents along with $75 in a money order made payable to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to an address in Tallahassee with, that you will be provided with. It might be a good idea to have a friend or a relative help you double check that everything in the packet required is there and that the correct Tallahassee mailing address is clearly listed. Approximately three months later, you will receive a certificate in the mail from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. This is known as a Certificate of Eligibility. You need to take this certificate to the main courthouse building at 1351 Northwest 12th Avenue and go to the ninth floor, show them your certificate, and tell them you need to have it filed with the court 
to have your criminal record cleared.